Hi everybody, my name is Rebecca Erlang and today I'm going to share a little bit about the book that I have recently written. Um, the Spirit of God started with me about, I'd say about eight, nine months ago. Um, I was in a very low time in my life. I'd been going through so many struggles for so many years and um, the Spirit of God just started working in my life and, and bringing understanding. I think a lot of us are in those places as I'm ministering to people from all over the world. There are so many people out there who are in places that they are struggling. They're in despair. They, they, they're crying out to God for answers, but many people never find those answers. Okay. They are stuck in their relationships with God. Um, they are stuck in relationships with people and they don't understand why. Okay. I was in that place a couple of months ago. And then the Spirit of God came through and, you know, Father just brought breakthrough into my life. And once that happened, I started, my eyes started opening to the spiritual battle we all face. For a very long time, I wanted nothing to know about the enemy. If anybody spoke about it, I just silenced them. My eyes were on Jesus and Jesus alone. And I thought, you know, that's enough. I don't need to know anything that the enemy is doing. I don't need to pray against the enemy. I don't, I don't need to do any of that. And uh, that's why I did not live a life of victory. So the book was birthed um, during this time where God started opening my eyes to, to really see the reality of the spiritual battle that we face as, as believers in Jesus. And, and even when we're not believers, there's a, there's a battle going on upon this earth. It's a fallen world and Satan rules upon this earth. We have to really wake and awaken to this reality. Otherwise, we will never understand the battle that we are facing. And um, on top of that, truly the victory that Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, truly came to give us. If we don't understand the enemy's tactics and what he's doing in our lives, we will never understand the full scope of what Jesus truly came to do for us. So this book is not just about exposing the kingdom of darkness, but also showing the victory that Jesus paid such a high price for us to have. We have not fully understand the fullness of the gospel. Um, we've, we've, we've scratched the surface in terms of that. But through this book, we're starting to really see what Jesus did to set us free. Many of us are living in bondage for years and years and years, and we don't even realize it. We don't get it. We keep praying, but we feel like our prayers are not being answered. We keep crying out. We keep having relationship issues. We have trauma. We have all of these things bombarding us constantly. And we just keep putting one foot in, full, in front of the other, hoping it will all go away. And it never does. And as the years go by, you know, the soul starts um, bending under the weight of everything that's going on. We never taste the freedom that Jesus promised us. We never walk in the victory that he assured we would have. We never know what it's like to trample on serpents and scorpions and, and see the power that he has given us over all the power of the enemy. Okay, and this is, this is what he has given me in this book. It's busy transforming people's lives as their eyes are opening to the truth and they're realizing, well, this is why this has happened to me in my life. This is what's going on in my life. People are weeping and, and just the revelation. Sorry, I'm getting emotional now because there's so many people who just read the book and go, wow, Rebecca, now I understand. Now I see clearly what's happened to me. I've been in years and years of bondage. I didn't even know it. The scriptures are opening up to a level that we did not even think would happen. You start reading the Bible and you go, now I truly understand what God is saying here to me. It is so amazing. And, um, Father then put it on my heart that I needed to start doing these online courses with the sections of the book that he has given me. So we've broken it up into seasons. We're doing different seasons in different parts of the book. And the reason being is because you need to have strong Christian counseling around you when working through the book. You need someone to pray with you. You need someone to answer questions when you, when you have it. You need someone to a group of people to support you strongly because we're a body. And Jesus said that um, 
we have to work together as a body to trample upon serpents and scorpions and to stand against the enemy. And it's in, a, it's in unity that we see the victory. <clears throat> and therefore, um, the Spirit of God has, has put it on my heart to start these online courses. And we're not just um, equipping people, but we're equipping people to go out there and know how to help others as well. Um, it's incredible what God is busy doing through this book and the lives that he is transforming and helping others to also transform other people's lives and know exactly what is the cause of their problems and what they're going through. Okay, so today I would like to share a little bit with you about season two. Our season two begins on the 8th of January 2022. It's just about, I think, about three three weeks away um, and we have limited space available and I wanted to share just a little bit so that you can see what you're going to get when you join these courses. So today I'm going to share a little bit about a strong man. Now, the Lord revealed to me seven strong men that work in our lives, okay? These are roots that grow within our lives, even from birth, okay? Um, that go to work to keep us in bondage, to keep us in pain, to keep us in suffering. And many never even realize that they have these things working within their lives. And therefore, they never find the freedom that they, that they have been given by the blood of the Messiah, all right, so the first strong men um, that uh, Father revealed to me, which will also be the first strong men we deal with in season two, is the strong man of shame. Okay, that's what the Spirit of God called it. I'd never heard of this. I don't know about you, but I'd never heard of most of the things the Spirit of God had revealed to me in this book. Um, the strong man of shame. I've heard of shame before, but I've never heard of it as a root that grows deep within our lives until he exposed it to me. This is what the Spirit of God said. He said, shame is what entered in at Eden. Adam and Eve felt great shame after they allowed the enemy in. My people do not realize the hordes of demons that entered Adam and Eve in the garden. Therefore, I sent my son to break the back of shame as he carried shame for you. Many do not recognize the workings of the strong man in their lives. If you do not awaken to the enemy's tactics in your life, the wicked roots and strongholds cannot be broken because you will keep falling back into shame's traps. The truth brings freedom. Therefore, you must know the truth in order to break free from it completely. The scriptures explain everything my son came to free man from, says the Spirit of God. People stop at salvation thinking they are now completely free. So many people think that's all it takes is this little prayer and I'm free. And then they find out, but I'm not free. As the years go by, they keep struggling. They keep going through all of these things and crying out to God and not understanding that there is a process. They do not realize, says the Spirit of God, how long and how deep the enemy's hold has been and that it is a process to gain complete freedom. This is called the sanctification process. The Bible actually talks about it. It's a battle to clear your soul from every, every stronghold of the enemy, bringing your entire heart and soul into the glorious presence of the Holy One, conquering every false altar, wrong belief in the mind and way of the enemy until the person is brought into complete subjection to my spirit and my mind and my ways, says the Spirit of God. Then glory fully and wholly resides within that temple as every false idol is destroyed. Every man, the Spirit of God says, every man and every woman must undergo the cleaning out of their temples in order to fully receive my spirit and my blessings. Now it says, shame enters in from birth. It is usually a bloodline curse that stems even as far back as Adam and Eve. Shame covers the face of my children so that they cannot see the glory of my face shining upon them. 
people with this spirit will struggle tremendously with their relationship with me as feelings of unworthiness are deeply rooted within them. They cannot receive love and do not even understand love as this spirit hinders the reception of anything of me. This is very interesting. The spirit of God says it's like looking through a lens that only sees shame. So their perception of life is covered with shame. The Spirit of God says, I have great compassion for those who have lived a life enduring the workings of this Spirit as it is a life lived in great pain, trauma, torment and sufferings. People who carry this Spirit will many times have a bent over back. This is very interesting. If you have like this uh, posture problem, you, you feel way down, burdened, and you walk with a bent over back. It says, the, the Spirit of God says, you walk bent over with the burdens they carry of their lives. With the Spirit comes bitterness, anger, malice, jealousy, brokenness, trauma, rejection, evil speaking, rebellion, and addiction. People with this spirit will struggle with relationships all their lives, as this spirit causes more brokenness with people around them. People will revile you, hate you, reject you, and despise you simply because the spirit's curse remains on your life. People will dislike you, even if they can't think of one valid reason why. It makes people flee from you seven ways, says the Spirit of God. If you have had difficulties all your life with uh, relationships and people just never seem to like you, they seem to distance themselves from you, they seem to reject you, no one ever seems to accept you, and you for all this time you've thought it was you, that you were not good enough, that you, you started despising yourself, you hate yourself, you, you internalize all of this and you... You constantly battle and think that you're not worthy of love. This is the kind of spirit that you are dealing with and you need deliverance. And the only way to do that is to join with a group like we have, like we're doing with these, these courses where we are able to get to every route where the spirit entered in and we're able to pray over you and pray that God would set you free and, and help you through deliverance and get the Spirit's course, curse off of you so that you can live in freedom, experience the love of God and the love of people all around you and be able to love them in return. If you're, if you do not, if you're not able to receive love, then neither are you able to give it. And yet God says that we must love we are as believers called to love if you are incapable of loving you're not walking in the freedom jesus gave for you to have and you're not walking in the fullness of his spirit it's so vital i realized through the lord giving me this uh, strong man that i myself was bound by it i didn't even know it all my life from birth up until the point where the spirit of god revealed this to me I myself was bound by the strong man of shame. And I cannot tell you how many people are being touched by just this one chapter. How many people are struggling? They, they're looking back and they're seeing it from school days, being rejected, being reviled, being hated, never being accepted, never experiencing love, even in their marriages, in their friendships. It just never seems to go well with relationships. I just feel like I need to pray over some of you right now. So, Father, I just thank you for this, this revelation and just that you're speaking to people right now. I just feel your presence on me right now. And there's so many people being touched by this right now. Father, I thank you that you are opening our eyes to see through your spirit. Thank you, Father, that you are opening our ears to hear. Thank you, Father. Thank you for everything you're doing in our lives. Thank you that you're setting your people free. Thank you that we're, we're coming into this awareness of what Jesus truly did to set us free. Thank you, Father, that you are touching your people's lives right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. 
I pray that you would bring your people, Father, to come and do these courses with us, to find the freedom that they so desperately need. I thank you, Father, that you draw your people to know more, to understand more, and to find that freedom. I thank you, Lord, that you have given us so much. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom that you paid such a high price for us to have. Thank you, Lord, we glorify you in all that you have done and all that you continue to do. Thank you for your spirit that is bringing your church the freedom she has desperately needed in this hour. We just glorify you. We praise you for you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, Abba Father. You are worthy, Yeshua. We praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay, I feel like that's all I need to share with you today. I really feel like this is touching people's lives. If this is you, please get in contact with us. Um, like I said, season two begins now on the 8th of January. We already have a couple of people that are um, has registered for season two. We'll continue to register for season two. So there'll only be a limited amount of spaces available for newcomers. You don't have to do season one first. Please, I just want to clarify. You can do the seasons in different, uh, it doesn't have to be in order. Um, so you can begin with season two, and if you feel like, you know, this has really touched you, this has really blessed you, you can go back and do season one at another time. We're also starting with season one on the 6th of January, where we will be dealing with principalities. Um, season two is focused on strong men. We will be going through strong men, roots that are affecting us in our lives. So please, if this has touched you, get in touch with us or go to our website, www.inspiredbyelohim.co.za and go register for season two. If you cannot afford the courses, please get in touch with me. Um, we have some spots open still for people who can't afford it. We All you need is a laptop, a cell phone and a, and a good camera so that you can join us during our live sessions and during the personal sessions where I am personally praying over you and uh, doing deliverance over those who need it. Okay. And of course, you need data or Wi-Fi. Um, so get in touch with me. If you can't afford it, send me an email at admin at inspiredbyaluhim.co.za and uh, we will register you for free. All right. Blessings, everyone. Shalom.